hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be talking about the things that i pack um when i go on a trip um these are just things that i keep in my bag just in case throughout the day on my flight if i get hungry um i'm typically when i get to the hotel i typically like to eat something hot i don't like to eat too much processed items um but things that help me while I'm flying. I don't like to eat when I'm on the plane because I tend to get lethargic. I tend to get the itis. And if I have a big meal, ain't nothing happening with me. But um, I like to keep some nuts. So I definitely put in a Ziploc bag some nuts, whether it's cashews, almonds. I'll make a mix with cranberries. And this typically will help me throughout the day to curb my hunger. Like I said, I don't like to eat anything heavy. That's not me. Um, it drives me crazy when I have a heavy meal and then I'm on the plane. I'm like, Ugh. doesn't work. But I like to pack some nuts. I also like to carry these almonds, which are wasabi and soy sauce. These are amazing. Um, so there's that. The other thing that people don't know that when you fly and you eat a lot of salt, you tend to bloat a lot. Um, and just in general, you bloat a lot from being up in the air, going up and down, up and down, up and down. You tend to just, it's ridiculous. But this is another lifesaver when you're super hungry, carrying ramen noodles, amazing. It does the trick. It's a hunger curber once again. If you're feeling hungry, you don't have time to get off the plane because sometimes we don't have time to run off the plane and get something hot. Boom, you just put some hot water in here, let it sit. By the time you're done doing service, you come back, you got yourself a nice hot meal, even though it's high in salt. Another thing I love to carry with me, this is oatmeal. Um, I put cranberries in there. Um, well, craisins, if you wanna say that. I put raisins, I have walnuts in there. There's almonds in there. There's all kinds of stuff in there. This is typically what I eat in the morning. This will probably sustain me for like an hour and 10 minutes. It's not something that'll hold me out for like an entire flight. Not gonna happen. Um, there are days where it does happen, but this is typically what I carry around with me. I just put it in a Ziploc bag or in one of these little baggies and I just make my own thing. Um, another thing I like to carry around with me is yogurt. Once again, another hunger curber. I'll typically have this in the morning for breakfast if I don't have my oatmeal or I have it before my oatmeal or after my oatmeal. Sometimes I'll even have it as a snack. Um, I'll either get the low yogurt or I'll get um, Greek yogurt, which is amazing. Um, another thing that I like to eat is peanut butter. Peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. This is another hunger her, um, hunger curver, sorry. I put it with my bananas. If I have a banana, if I have apples, it does the job. It gets it done. Sometimes I'll take scoops of it. I'll do like three scoops and I'm I'm good for like a couple, couple minutes. Maybe the duration of the flight, it depends. Another thing I started carrying, this is almond milk. So if you're in love with almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk, whatever it, your preference is, whole milk, whatever. I got these bottles off of Amazon and they come in different sizes. I actually have them in a small size and in a big size. Um, these are typically better for me. This lasts me about a good like three or four day trip. Um, and I just fill it, I freeze it, so that's why it looks this color. It typically stays cold in my bag. It could stay in my bag for about a day before it starts to run down. But obviously, once my day is done, if I'm working three flights a day, if I'm working three flights a day, I'll put it in the fridge. It's good to go. This I use for my milk, my oatmeal, um, my coffee. It's it's great. Once you freeze it, it stays cold. It keeps everything else in your bag cold. And that's the same thing about my yogurt sometimes. If I know I'm not going to eat my yogurt that day, I freeze it so everything stays cold in my bag. Um, another thing, once again, fresh fruit. These are pineapples. Pineapples is great for inflammation. Once again, it's good for the yoni area. I always keep fresh fruit with me. It's amazing. I munch on it throughout the day. I snack on it. Keeps my sugar levels up. Doesn't make me feel lethargic. Doesn't make me feel tired. This is it. Always keep some fresh food with you. Once again, pomegranate. 
I always have some type of fruit in my bag, whether it's a mixed fruit, whether it's tangerines, mandarins, mandarins, sorry, um, bananas, apples, I got it all. Once again, snacks, combos, these are my favorite. I love them to death. Can't do without them. Eggs. Eggs are amazing. I love brown eggs. I do not like white eggs. But I always boil at least two to three eggs. Um, if I'm going on a three-day trip, I typically boil three of them, one for each day in the morning. I'll typically have this, my oatmeal, my yogurt, and I'm good for the morning. Um, depends, once again, how many flights I work. If I work two flights, I'm typically good for two flights. If I have this, yogurt, and my oatmeal, I'm good to go. And my cup of coffee. If I don't have my coffee in the morning, I'm not functioning <laughs> at all. Not functioning at all. But these are really good of, um, it's a good source of protein. It typically holds me over for an entire flight. If I'm working a flight that's like two and a half hours, I'm good with the egg, like a hard-boiled egg. And that's surprising because mama loves to eat. So that's that. I keep a Ziploc, a Ziploc bag with a whole bunch of teas. I can't speak today for some sense reason. I carry around instant coffee. Sometimes we don't have time to get off the plane and run to get coffee or get a hot meal. So I keep instant coffee. I put this in a hot cup, make some coffee with some sugar. And once again, that good old almond milk or soy milk comes into hand. That's why I carry it. And boom. I carry all kinds of tea with me. Mint teas. Um, chamomile teas. English breakfast. I am a tea drinker. I love tea to the life of me. This is actually one of my favorite teas. So this is the orange. I love this one to death. Um, I also carry with me some lemon juice just in case for my tea. I also carry around honey as well, which my mom brings me like these little amazing little honey packets that I can bring with me. Let's talk about vitamins now. So when you're in the air and you're constantly traveling to all these different states, these different countries, you're gonna come across breathing in air, obviously, that everybody else is breathing in as normal. Um, but you're in a metal tube, sometimes 12 to 14 hours a day. And you wanna make sure that your body is up to par. So one of the vitamins I do take, I take vitamin C. I take one every day, or I take emergency. I keep those on deck, they're in my bag. I do not play with my vitamins. I keep them here. I take iron because I definitely suffer from low blood um, anemia. And when you're constantly going up and down, up and down, up and down throughout the day, your body is gonna become tired. You are going to get jet lag, it's inevitable. Like, flight attendants, we're not innate to it. It's not just, oh, just because I'm a flight attendant, I'm fine. No, it's going to happen to you. So you have to make sure that you stay healthy. The other iron that I definitely do recommend is Floridex. These are amazing as well. I take folic acid, which is also great. Folic acid actually helps support the nervous system. I take B12. This is amazing for energy. If you're feeling tired, B12 is the way to go. Um, now, when it's time to get to the layover. For some people like myself, sometimes it's typically hard for me to sleep. So when you get to a layover sometimes and you're in a different place, you're not in your bed, you're in a different hotel, you're nervous, you've never stayed in that hotel before, um, you're just not comfortable sometimes. You know, you hear all these horror stories. I don't know. Who knows what's going on in your life at the time? It happens to the best of us. So, I always recommend keeping some melatonin. Now, the difference between melatonin and a sleep aid, such as things that have Advil PM, such as um, Tylenol PM, a regular sleep aid, you wake up and you feel groggy. There are times that we have 3 a.m. van times where we have to be downstairs at 3.45, 3.15. 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. In their right mind, everybody's passed out at that hour. Like, nobody is up 
at three o'clock in the morning unless you're partying and getting lit so if you want something that's natural and it's not gonna make you feel like Ugh, that groggy feeling melatonin is the way to go it promotes the natural sleep cycle it helps you to fall asleep it helps you to stay asleep now if you're a person that suffers from bad dreams when you take sleep aids i will say melatonin doesn't do that to you however there are times where it will not make you sleep the entire night opposed to taking like a regular sleep aid or advil pm or tylenol pm which for myself when i take advil pm or tylenol pm i have some crazy ass dreams like crazy dreams so um this is just to knock me out like if i know i gotta be up at three o'clock it is now 12 o'clock and i still haven't fallen asleep yeah mama is popping one of these bad boys most definitely so this is one of them you could find it in dollar tree you could find it in target you could find it in walmart amazing so that's typically what i take with me on layover um another thing that i like to carry too as well as a salad but a salad you really only get about a day or a day and a half out of it um if you're a person like me i like my salads when they're fresh i like to eat them right then and there um the other thing that's good to carry along with you which i'm gonna show you guys the hotel if you're a person like me once i'm inside the room and i get inside the room and i'm i'm showered and i take off all my clothes i don't got time to be going downstairs and warming up no food after a long day no so what i typically do as soon as i get in the hotel i wash my hands take my shoes off and i'll put my food on this if i carried like food that i prepared at home and stuff i put my food plug this in you open it up put everything in there and it warms everything up it's a hot plate you put your stuff in there you can put glass plastic it doesn't matter um by the time i'm done taking the shower by the time i'm done undressing i'm packing my bag getting my stuff ready for tomorrow by the time i'm done making my phone calls gossiping with my girls you know it's all ready to go it is all ready to go this works amazing um but if you, obviously if you're dying of hunger and you need to go downstairs and warm your food if your room does not have a microwave then by all means but this is something i carry around with me to use in the hotel rooms as well um another thing i typically like to carry with me is candy there are times where i get a damn sweet tooth out of nowhere and i'm not a cease person at all but i don't know i don't know what it is um i carry my own salt my own pepper i tend to whenever we're in a in the airports and we're passing like you know the little stands with the spoons and the forks and all that stuff i still all that i take that the honey the mayo the ketchup everything because I'm telling you, when you are on the go, when the flights are just, it's going and it's going and it's going, sometimes you don't have time to get off the plane and say, dang, I could, you know, when we get to Orlando, I could just get off and get something to eat. It's, it's not always like that. You understand? So there's that. Another thing that's good to carry is the little cereal things or packing your own cereal. Once again, that milk comes in handy for that. Um... Chef Boyardee is another thing that I pack with me as well. And that's typically good. Once again, Chef Boyardee. Um, once again, these things are high in sodium. So like I said, you are going to bloat if you eat these during a the flight. But if you're looking for something that's quick and easy and you don't have to worry about it um, when you're flying, you don't have to worry about getting off and stuff, that's good. Packing bread and lunch meat is also another quick easy fast thing to go through um but my biggest recommendation is when you are flying is to drink a ton of water I, I can't stress this enough like drinking one bottle of water two bottles of water is not enough you have to drink at least three to five bottles of water per flight because once again that up and down up and down that <clears throat> All that flying, your skin tends to dry out. Your skin tends to get icky. You get oily. You get, like I said, dry. You don't want to be that person that 10 years from now, someone's asking you, oh, how long have you been flying? And the next thing you know, you're like, well, I don't even been flying for like three years, you know? And it's like, you haven't been flying for three years and you look like you done aged like six times. No, we don't want that. So like I said, um... It's definitely important to maintain a healthy lifestyle when you are flying. You can carry 
carrots, broccoli, peppers to dip in ranch. I carry ranch with me as well in a little thing. I carry raw vegetables so I can eat on the flight. It's very important. Um, I don't have that to show here, but I'm very big on eating a lot of fruits and vegetables during the flight. Um, I try to, like I said, stay away from the processed, processed food. All the stuff that I showed you is kind of more so in the need of if it's an emergency. Another thing I carry with me is popcorn. It's a good snack if you want to buy organic popcorn. That's amazing as well. But I like extra butter. I like the unhealthy stuff, honey. So I carry this with me when I get to the layover sometimes. Maybe if it's late in the night and nothing is open. And I'm just like, I just want a snack. I'm not, I don't need to eat anything. Popcorn it is, honey. Um... So that's about it that I have. Um, I pretty much showed you guys the gist of things that I carry. I don't really carry too much. I have an amazing lunch bag. And I'm going to actually show you guys. It's amazing. It's an ISO bag. It's, it's ridiculous. It has so many compartments. It has a side, a side pocket. Another side pocket. It has another inside pocket inside pocket still has this top flap and it still has an inside flap so oh and it also comes with i think at least like 10 i believe it's like 10 tupperwares and comes in like two different sizes small and, and medium or like medium and large or something like that i don't remember too correctly but it comes with everything that you need you could pack this any way that you want. For me, I use my pockets. I got my Himalaya salt. I got my sugars, my brown sugar, my white sugar. Um, in my pockets, I tend to keep my peanut butter on that side. Um, my nuts go in there as well. I'm actually working tomorrow, so I'm going to start working on my bag. I have my melatonin on this side. Plus some pain meds just in case, like, you know, if you have a headache. Once again, that good Advil PM, like I talked about. Um, I keep my vitamins in a little Ziploc bag. And then I have that good old emergency, like I said. Um, I keep that good old hand sanitizer too in there as well. Coronavirus! You know, I have my candy. I like to munch on candy sometimes every now and then. Um, like I mentioned before about the, if you like find places while you're visiting inside the airport and you see um, some jelly, some mayo. I have some racha sauce in here, salt and pepper. Girl, I got all kinds of stuff in here. I keep honey, like I said. There's some honey in here as well. These are the forks and the spoons that I take with me. Cranberry pills, like I said. Keep your system nice and clean. But I try to make sure that I carry everything that's sustainable. Things that I know that are feasible for me while I go to work. And there you have it. So don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I forgot. It comes with a handle as well. So you can definitely put it on your side. You can definitely hook it onto your luggage by this handle or this handle. And it works. It works. It's big. It's like one of those gym meal prep lunch bags. It's actually a hundred, a hundred and some change. I'm going to put the link down below. Make sure you click it. But...